and welcome back. So we are talking about science, robotics, technology, and with me I have Mr. Ankur Singh and Ganjita Singh, and we're talking about SB Components Limited. So can you just tell us briefly what SB Components Limited is? Uh, SB Components is related with developing hardwares for uh, schools, universities, and make a community. And SB Components give training to teachers in schools, uh, colleges, so they can teach uh, the young generation the, uh, all about STEM. So it's, it's related with science, where technology, e engineering, mathematics is included uh, while developing the softwares. So everything is included in that one. Okay, no problem. So what school are you using this program with? Uh, all primary schools, secondary schools are using it. And from primary, uh, from age of uh, six and seven, uh, schools are giving training to the uh, younger generations. So by the time they are uh, graduate, they have a deep knowledge of all uh, technology and engineering. Because uh, in future, this is what they will be using for in any kind of job. With the, the SB components, you're starting with the Seventh-day Adventist School here in Antigua. How has that program started off? Uh, it has started well off uh, over here. We have been giving training uh, to the teachers in the St. Adventist uh, and they are really enjoying that one because there are students also and teachers also who are very well you know, into it and now they are loving it because they have never seen uh, such a technology uh, to be implemented into the schools. So just a brief overview, we see we have a lot of things going on here. We see the robotic arms. So can you just tell us what each item is on the table? Yeah, um, this, this one is a small computer which is BBC Micropet, developed by BBC. So kids, the younger age one, uh, start developing programs on that one and use it as a watch. They can count their steps, they can play games on it, they can write characters on it. So this is the basic fr uh, one from the primary schools. Then they go for the small robotics up to the age of eight. And then it goes to the uh, secondary school with the robotics programming until the university one like a big human eye robot. These two are based on the world's smallest computer, which is the credit card size computer, having about 4 GB of RAM on it. This is all about this one. Uh, so starting from the primary to the secondary one. Okay, thank you. So Anker, yeah. you are the technical person behind of all of this. So can you just give us a brief overview of how each mechanism would work, especially this one, because I'm really, this looks like Transformers. I'm really interested in this one. Yeah, actually this is, we call this humanoid robot. And this humanoid robot is actually based on the servo motors. And these servo motors, Sorry. <laughs> so this is actually, we call this a humanoid robot. And this humanoid robot is based on this smart computer, the Raspberry Pi. And these are the servo motors. And with the servo motors, we can design our body movements. So this is exactly like a human with head. And we have mounted a camera on top of this so that it can watch the live environments and then sense accordingly. There is a touch screen in front of this so that you can see everything, what is going on behind the, this computer. Mm -hmm. And these black ones are the servo motors that are used to do some movements. Similarly, with these servo motors, we have designed a robotic arm. This is again using the same motors, but the application is now different. Now this is a pick and place robot. Okay. But the technology behind all of them is a smart computer. We call this, this one. Okay. So both of them are based on this computer. Like this, you can design lots of designs, either a robotic car, a snake, a walking robots, robotic arms. Okay, thank you. So these are more for the primary school levels, and these are more for the tertiary level. What is the difference between the two? Actually, in, in this one, the programming language that we use is designed for the kids. It's like a drag and drop programming. There is no need to write anything. Just pick the objects and then connect to each other. So for the kids, it's very easy to program these kind of hardwares. And this is actually a computer. So in computer, we need some programming in which we have to write something. So this is for secondary level. This is the main reason. And this one is very easy to interface. And for this, we need some 
little bit of technical skills. So that's why this is the difference. Okay. And do you, are you over the teaching program for yes, the... Yes, I am as a trainer. Okay. All right then. Great. Thank you so much for being here. This is all very interesting. And I hope that the students respond well in the schools towards this type of technology. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Thank you for being with us. Up next, we're talking about massages, relaxing, tropical bliss. We'll be in the studio. Stay tuned. <laughs>